as I was uh, getting ready to come over here today to film this podcast, a friend of mine told me that his wife had just left for her 15th annual girls trip. So her and some of her friends do a trip every year about this time. And uh, he was pretty excited that he's going to take care of their four daughters for the next few days. And uh, thankfully, a couple of them drive. So he'll survive it just fine. But do you do something like that? Uh, Another friend of mine just texted me the other day. He and a couple of his friends go every March. They do a guy's trip to Vegas uh, during March Madness. And they watch college basketball games. There might be some wagering involved. They just, they go out and have a guy's trip. It's an awesome time. And they want to know if I'd come with them. And so uh, pray for me that my wife thinks that's a good idea too. Um, You ever do anything like that? We're here at our deep dive in five. And we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about fasting. That's what we do every Thursday. We're at day 39. And if you've been here every single day, man, it's, really close to the end of this series. The deep dive is going to continue, but our 40 days of powerful worship experience will, this series will end tomorrow. Uh, This being, as I said, day 39. If you're new, go to the beginning. There's great stuff here. ccf.church slash 2021 are the printed uh, devos and online PDFs, whatever you need. What if you planned a spiritual retreat? Not a girl's weekend, a guy's weekend, But what if you planned a day? What if you took one day and the main part of that day, eight hours, where you would normally go to work or you would do chores, activities? What if you did a spiritual retreat day? Because we need guys trips. We need vacations with our families. We need ski weekends with, you know, whoever. And we we plan those, right? And, And we make them happen. And what if you did the same with God? And, and, and what if you looked at it, maybe even as a spiritual discipline of fast? What if one day a year, one day a quarter, every once in a while, you just started setting aside a day to spend solely with God, focused on Him, a spiritual retreat day? Uh, think of it as like a spa day for your heart, for your soul, for your relationship with your Creator. I know you're thinking, I can't do that. I don't have time. But we make time for those things that are important to us, right? Like my friend's wife made time every year. She made effort, put like all the things together that need to happen to go on a girl's trip. I do the same vacations or things that I care about. I I make time uh, when we can to go watch a spring training game, my favorite team, the Dodgers. And and, and I make time for that. It takes a whole day to to do that. What, What is it about a spiritual retreat day that keeps you from it in the written devos, I've put some samples. And all I want to do here in this podcast is just challenge you to think about it. Not to say there's no way, but say, what if? And and in the written devo, I'll give you some samples, what they look like. I'm going to give you some tips, how you could do it. I mean, I think if you're married, you have kids who aren't able to take care of themselves for that period of time. They're at home. They're still doing online school, whatever it might be. They're, They're young. Then maybe you take a Saturday and you go and, and, one Saturday soon, you go and spend the day with God and go through what I've put in the written Devo or your own plan. And then a couple Saturdays later or a month later, your spouse goes and, and you guys take care of the family and the things that need to be taken care of still happen, but you get a day with God. Think about what if that you could just plan some time to deepen your connection with Jesus. You're like, I don't even know what I would do. Well, I'd give you that plan. I just need you to start thinking about yeah, maybe I could do that. See, the first time I did, I was forced to. It was part of a, a my master's degree program, and I was made to do this for a day. And I realized I need to do this. Because here's what Jesus says, and this is the why. I want you to think about it. He says in John 15, some of the most, I think, beautiful language he gives us of, of our relationship with him. He says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain joined to me, and I to you, you will bear a lot of fruit. You can't do anything without me. You don't, if you don't remain joined to me, you're like a branch that's thrown away and dries up. And some of us feel dried up. Our, our soul, our heart, even just we listen to this and we know we want more. Jesus says he's the vine. We're the branches. We can remain in him. You could plan a day to spend focused solely on him. Go online, find it, do it.